Imagine for a moment. You have nowhere to live, no money, just the shirt on your back. What would you do? Would you still have the will and mental fortitude to work on your dreams? Would you have the strength to keep going on your journey? Or would you crumble? Would you end up in the gutter? You see, in life, bad things happen. Sometimes life hits you on the blind side. You don't see it coming, but you need the mindset to be able to continue, the mindset to keep going when everything is falling to pieces around you. Why? Why do I need to keep going when bad things happen? Because that is life. If we all stopped when something bad happened, there would be zero successful people to ever exist. Bad things do happen. Life will hit you on the blind side, and it is in these moments that you develop true strength. It is in these moments you learn how to become successful. If you are going through a hard time right now, maybe you lost someone special to you, maybe you failed on the big stage, maybe you're struggling to get going again, know this, you are more than enough. You can do this. You will be successful. The storm will pass. This is not the end for you. And when you look back in years to come, it will be in this moment where you mark the start of your success story. Visualize your success. See it, taste it, smell it. Know what you want so clear that it almost feels like you have it. Envision it so well that when you get it, you will feel like you always had it. Thoughts become reality. Everything started in someone's head. Driving through the city, I look up at the skyscrapers. I drive over the Manhattan Bridge, and I see the Statue of Liberty in the distance. Everything my eyes can see at some point was in someone's head. Everything my eyes witnessed started as a seed in someone's mind. The tallest buildings at one point were just a seedling in the mind of a dreamer. That person had the willpower and mindset to bring them to reality. Everything that was created by man began in the mind of a dreamer. Before you reach your dreams, you need to feel them. They need to feel so real you already believe you have them. The only thing that separates you from them is time. You already have it in your mind. Now is the time to make it a reality. Failure is a step to success. Falling down is a step to success. Losing is a step to success. Pain is a step to success. But quitting is not. Success is getting back up and learning from these falls, learning from the pain and the losses. Success lies in getting back to your feet and trying again. Before every big victory was many small losses that we learned from, that we used as motivation to succeed. I am not here to avoid losing. I am here to make as many mistakes as I can, so when it comes time to win, I have already learned what not to do. Success comes from knowledge and determination. Are you willing to fall down? Are you willing to take the pain? Are you willing to get hurt? Are you able to get back up when everything is against you and say, is that all you've got? When all the odds are stacked up against you, can you walk into the eye of the storm and fight again? It is in these moments that true champions are made. It is in these moments that greatness is sparked. You need to test yourself. You need to push your limits to places they have not been before. You can't do that from your comfort zone. To get stronger, you must put yourself under more pressure. Success is simply many failures that add up to a win. We forget that greats have fallen before. We forget that their journey started from the bottom. 
It was one step backward, two steps forward, all the way to the top. Learn to love losing. Don't be frozen by the fear of it. To really be something special, you must be willing to put it all on the line. You must be willing to fight without the fear of losing. No limits. You can only truly shine when you learn that losing is part of success. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you are done. Once a quitter, always a quitter. Prove them wrong. You are relentless. You will never stop. This isn't a game to you. This is life or death. You are not going to give up because of a little pain. You won't quit because of a bad situation. It isn't in your nature to give up on this. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you get the job done. You finish when you have done enough work to make progress. A little pain along the way is your rite of passage. It is the battle scars of the successful, the marks of a warrior who succeed at this adventure through life. What will your scars say about you? How many battles will you pull through to come out the other side a winner? Come out the other side an ultimate version of yourself. Your will and desire to win are greater than anybody else's. I know you are aware of how bad you want this. I know you are aware of what you would give to succeed. I know you want this. I know it is all you want. I know what you would give for this. So do it. Show it. Prove it. Show the world. Show them that anything you can dream of can become your reality. You will change the world. How small or how big is up to you. No matter what you do, you will have an impact on the world. Make it big. As much as we don't like to admit it, we get one life. One. Stop waking up every day and expecting to wake again. It's not promised. This will end. You can't go through life and wait for things to happen to you. You have to create the moments. That way you can direct your life. We don't get to choose our time. Your time is short. Time is numbered and yours will be one of those digits. This should get you up in the morning and should make you glad to be alive. Don't waste your time. Don't waste it. You have one shot. Go for the bullseye. Create, change, inspire, risk, laugh. Create the life that you want to have. The world that you want to leave behind. Do you want to be remembered as one of the greats? Will your name be mentioned in the history books? Be remembered. Being remembered shows that you had an impact on the world. It's not about you. It's about your legacy. What will you leave behind for humanity? I hope they remember you. Tomorrow, they said. Tomorrow. But tomorrow never came for them. Next week never came for them. It never came. I live for the now. I live in the moment. If I want to be successful, I do it right now. I don't talk about opening my business. I open them. Stop talking about the future and do it now. Tomorrow may never come. Action is in the mind. You don't need everything to be in a perfect position to get started. If you want to open a business, you can do it right now. You can start writing the business plan. You can start the research and working the numbers. Businesses start with an idea. They do not start on opening day. I speak to so many lost young men with dreams and aspirations of opening companies and businesses, but all of them without fail are waiting for the perfect situation to start. 
They are waiting for savings to accumulate. They are waiting for the right economy. But it will never be the right time to start. So you might as well get started now.